Hey, my name is Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use artificial intelligence to write follow-up paragraphs in an article and also have the AI incorporate SEO keywords and SEO concepts into those paragraphs. This is excellent for optimizing your article and making sure you're, you're getting 100%, you're maxing out all the, uh, the long tails and short tails that need to be in your article to rank on Google. Now, the AI template we're gonna be using is called Next Paragraph with Keywords, and you need a phrase subscription to use this. You also need the AI SEO add-on. If you don't have either of those, there's a link in the description. Definitely check it out. Now, once you have phrase open, you're gonna to wanna to open an existing document. This is a template that's not designed for uh, writing a new document. It's for optimizing an existing document or something that you have yet to publish. And you can find the template over here. Uh, if you type in, if you go to AI Write and you go to Community and you type in RT and then Next Paragraph, there's two that you'll see on here, next paragraph and the next paragraph with keyword. Uh, they're both identical, except for this one is just gonna write a next paragraph. And this one's gonna write a next paragraph that incorporates keywords. So this is really good if you just wanna pad the article with more relevant content. This is really good if you wanna optimize your article for SEO. So we'll click on that. And there's different uh, inputs that you need to fill out in this. First is your higher level concept. As usual, this is usually your H1. Uh, you don't want, like, we're not going to do eight tips to help you feel confident, but instead the, the better uh, would be how to be less nervous when teaching. We, we paste this in here. The subconcept would be our H2, whatever H2 or subsection we're dealing with. So it's okay to be nervous. That could be our H2. The current paragraph would be the, the current paragraph that we want to then write a subsequent paragraph for. And then a keyword, and the keyword would be the, that SEO keyword or SEO concept. Let me show you how to find these, these keywords. So in the optimized section, Phrase is gonna show you a bunch of long tail keywords and also top topics, which are kind of short tail keywords. And the way Phrase gets these is when you input your query, like when you're creating a document or you're updating a document, it's gonna ask for a search query. And when you put that search query in, Phrase is gonna go out to Google and perform that search and pull in the top 20 results. And it's gonna use natural language processing to, to analyze those results and tell you what, uh, what terms you need to incorporate into your document to rank. And the, the score that you need to beat right now is 46.7. We're currently at 33. Ideally, you can get all the way to 100. And then also you can click on the SERP scores and check out the heat map if you wanna also view the, the different uh, SERP results. The reason, you might be wondering, the reason why uh, we only have six results processes because we're working with a lower competition keyword and I filtered out uh, non-relevant results. So we're going to figure out where we want to put these into our article. Now, before AI, before I had a template to do this for me, I'd see these long tails and I'd say, okay, where can I put the word or the phrase teacher anxiety? I've written the document and now I need to optimize it. Where am I going to put that in? I might just insert it into here and say, and void teacher anxiety. I might just do that. And I do that for all of these different things. And that would work, but sometimes you can get a choppy article and then also it uh, it doesn't really add more words. It doesn't make your article longer. The, the better way now is with AI. And you can mix and match both approaches. So what I would do is find these long tails and like figure out which ones I wanna choose and find a relevant place to insert them. So I've already picked out a couple. Teacher anxiety. I think that would be a good long tail to discuss right about here. So it's okay to be nervous. When you're teaching, you're sharing knowledge, and, you sh and when you share knowledge, you're vulnerable. You may feel anxious about making mistakes, getting laughed at, or being misunderstood, but it's normal to feel nervous when teaching. So I want the AI right here to talk about teacher anxiety. And then down here, I want to talk about teacher burnout. There's a teacher burnout right there. And as we scroll down, I picked a sense of anxiety right here for think, uh, think about what you want to say. Use visual aids uh, so there can be performance anxiety. And then I want to talk about daily routine here. And this is just some examples. You can go through the whole list if you want to. Uh, but this will really bump up the word count of your article and, and add more relevance and more con context to your article, which is always a good thing. So pick which ones you want to talk about with the AI put them where you want, and then we'll go to the AI write function. Again, you go to AI write, you go to community, you can find my templates by typing RT in brackets, and then we wanna find 
next paragraph with keyword. Now we're going to input our he header, our h1. We're going to input our h2. The current paragraph goes right there. And then we want to talk about teacher anxiety. Now, just like my paragraphs from keywords, this template, when we run it, it might use this exact phrase in the, the output, teacher anxiety, or it just might talk about this particular concept. I think both are useful from a ranking perspective. Google is smart enough to know what concepts surround the phrase teacher anxiety. So I think you're, you're going to rank just as well, whether it uses the word teacher anxiety or talks about concepts surrounding this particular phrase. Also creativity, you want to leave this at one. You don't want to go up. The, if, even if you go up to, uh, to level two, it's not going to use this phrase. So you want to stay at level one for this. And then we just got to click run template. Okay. So it used the phrase. There are ways to overcome teacher anxiety. One of the easiest ways is to practice speaking in front of others. If you don't feel comfortable talking in public, then consider joining Toastmasters International where you'll get feedback from other members who are just like you. Another way to reduce teacher anxiety is prepare ahead of time. So is this relevant for this paragraph? When you're teaching, you're sharing knowledge, blah, 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 but it's normal to feel nervous when teaching. So there are ways to overcome teacher anxiety. That's great. I, we don't even, this is pretty good too. If you're feeling nervous, don't worry. There are ways to overcome teacher anxiety. First, remember that everyone makes mistakes. I don't like the finally, so we're going to go with, because we have more paragraphs to talk about after this. So we'll just paste this in. Great. Now we're going to talk about teacher burnout. So the reason we put all of the ones we want to talk about in first is because we don't have to then refill this out. So all we need is to change our paragraph and our keyword. So let's talk about teacher burnout. Okay. If you're worried about teaching, then you might be experiencing teacher burnout. This happens when teachers feel overwhelmed and stressed out while teaching to avoid this, take time to recharge your energy, take breaks during class and get up every hour or two to stretch and walk around. Fantastic. And is this, let's read the first paragraph. The trick is to not let those feelings stop you from sharing your knowledge. In fact, they should motivate you to teach better. So don't worry about feeling nervous. Instead, embrace it, embrace your nerves because they help you become a better teacher. If you're worried about teaching, so it, it still follows the, the thought. That's awesome. So let's go back and we'll do the sense of anxiety now. So here's our new H2, put that right there. Here's our paragraph. Here is our sense of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious before a presentation, try taking a deep breath and focusing on your audience. This will help you calm down and give you confidence. So feeling anxious, that's a sense of anxiety. So that's another, like you could almost call it a synonym, for instance. And we're talking about, let's see, if you're nervous, you might find yourself getting flustered and rushing through your presentation. We're talking about a presentation here and it's continuing that thought. If you're feeling anxious before giving a speech, try taking deep breaths, focusing on relaxing your body. And they're both really good. I don't know which one to take. We'll just take the first one, I guess. Okay, performance anxiety. So we're talking about using visual aids. So this is our H2. Here is our paragraph. And here is performance anxiety. Let's see what we get. If you use visual aids, you wanna make sure they're effective. I don't think, uh, for example, if you're teaching a lesson about the solar system, don't just show a picture of the sun. I don't think that talks about performance anxiety. With this template, you, you might have to generate once or twice more. Uh, if you're teaching online, then you should probably use visual aids to keep them engaged. Nope, no performance anxiety there. Oh, there we go. If you're teaching a class where you don't feel comfortable, use visual aids to help overcome performance anxiety. For example, if you're teaching a class on how to write a research paper, you could use a PowerPoint presentation to show students how to organize their thoughts before writing. Perfect. Okay. And then daily routine. Now this is pretty interesting. I want to give you a, a tip about this. So before we paste our paragraph in, look at the paragraph we have. This helps you organize your thoughts and makes it easier to deliver a clear and concise lesson. If we just, and we need to paste in daily routine, but if we just paste that in for our paragraph, we got to we just paste this in for a paragraph. We're not going to get a good follow-up paragraph because the AI doesn't know what the context is. It knows about preparing a lesson. That's our subconcept. And our higher level is how to, how to be less nervous when teaching. But this paragraph, like how can you write a follow-up to this without any other context? This, like what is this? 
This helps you organize your thoughts. So here's the trick. What you can do is you can just take more paragraphs. So now we've just taken everything before that and we'll run it. So we're gonna get daily routine now. So uh, the context is teachers often feel anxious before teaching a class. They worry if they're gonna remember everything. The solution is to prepare, prepare your lesson ahead of time. This way you don't have to worry about forgetting anything because you've already written everything down when preparing your lessons ahead of time. So it's talking about organizing everything and preparing it all ahead of time. And we want the AI to write now about daily routine. So if you're feeling nervous before teaching a class, try creating a daily routine. Create a schedule for yourself where you want to plan your day, week, month, and even semester. By doing this, you'll have a, a sense of calmness knowing that you've planned out every aspect of your life. Like that's freaking fantastic. So that is a great way if if you don't have if you're not getting good output, merge like go up a couple paragraphs. Take the last two paragraphs, take the last three paragraphs. And I think that's it. We've I think it was at a thousand words or so in some change. So we've added like 600 words to this now. So this is all you got to do to to write these these next paragraphs. Super simple, super easy. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you want me to make a video for you about something in particular, also drop that in the comments. And if I can, if I know the answer to it and I can help you out, I'll, I'll make a video and we'll share it with the, the community. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to this video. Please share it with your friends. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.